saving oh as I say that now where's the receipt <laughs> we will be saving all the receipts to tell you guys what our final cost on the build was they already forgot So it is not the same day as when we filmed this, but we realized that we missed a lot of talking and I'm gonna make the most of the footage we have. So a little bit of an update. When we got back to the bus, uh, I removed the buzzers off of the doors. Uh, now, anybody who's been in a school bus or if you've looked up schoolies, there are buzzers in place basically for safety purposes to make sure that the doors are closed and they're not locked when the kid's in the back and yada yada. Um, so I removed those, uh, pulled them off the doors and I was lucky because it was just a simple wire harness and disconnecting it. But if you do it improperly, sometimes the bus won't start. So that's why I'm celebrating in this next clip uh, because ours was pretty simple and I got it removed. So I'll probably see you in a few seconds when I have to do another update. Hey! 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 We do have that master lock set that we got. It's also known as a puck lock. <laughs> now, the only problem, and this is something that I read this morning, is one of the horrors of bus life is trying to lock these doors and having it work properly, having it close all the way. And my issue is that the seal gets in the way so that this might not lock, might not kind of line up exactly where it's supposed to, or it might be out. And these are quite finicky, it doesn't give you a lot of space for air. It's gotta go right on. Okay, so this lock, was not super easy to install on the door, like I said, because of that seal. So we need to revisit this in a later video, um, but I will update that and show you guys how I get it on and stuff because we are deciding to go with the puck lock. Um, in the meantime, we just don't keep any valuables or anything in the bus. Uh, so it's just a hollow workspace, but yeah. Pull out, push in, lock. Um, but that's solid. Okay, so basically at this point, we're just starting to remove the upper corner panels uh, and that reveals the wiring and just shows us what we're working with. Uh, these were loaded with dust. If you are doing this part on your bus, definitely get some masks or something. We just had bandanas at this point, but we did pick masks up later on. Uh, and yeah, basically just some just like beginning demolition steps, but here we go. Look at all that dirt. Gross. There's like literally a layer of dirt here. We're gonna need a vacuum.
It's 4.30 and today it's just gray and snowy. So we are usually like pitch black by five. So we're just stringing some lights. Thank you, Carly and Malcolm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a wedding gift. Um, The lights up we used to have on our patio at our house um so they're really nice we can keep working the heater's good it's probably about minus one or two right now and it was blizzarding probably six minus six so seriously i think that we're looking really good speakers in the back and stuff are out uh it's just going to be a matter of finding the next few steps and right now we're pulling out this guy uh we've got a big pile of everything that's come out so far um and once this is all sort of gutted we'll probably do a run to the dump um yeah, but good update for you and we will check in later.